Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve a question on indices. So let us quickly look into the question. If 9 to the power of x minus 9 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 648 then find the value of x to the power of x. So let's start solving the question. Now 9 to the power of x the first term will write it the same way. Minus 9 to the power of x minus 1 I can split and write it as 9 to the power of x times 9 to the power of minus 1 because according to the rule of indices if we are writing a term in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n then we can write it as a to the power of m plus n. So here in this case the question is given as 9 to the power of x minus 1. So I can reverse the given law and write it as 9 to the power of x times 9 to the power of minus 1 and that is what I have done over here. We can split the power in the given form and let me write it equal to 648. Now let me just erase this thing to start solving the given question. Okay. Now here we are going to write 9 to the power of x minus 9 to the power of x. Now 9 to the power of minus 1 can be written as 1 over 9 to the power of 1. Again using the laws of indices. This is equal to 648. Remember here when you take the 9 to the denominator the negative power becomes a positive power. Next I am going to factorize this left hand side and I can see that 9 to the power of x and 9 to the power of x is common in both the terms. So I will take 9 to the power of x common out and inside the bracket here 1 is left after taking 9 raised to x common minus now in this term 1 over 9 is left is equal to 648. Here let us keep 9 to the power of x the same way it is and here we can see that we can solve it by taking the LCM and here we are going to multiply by 9 and here by 9 and here we are going to multiply by 1 times 1. This is the LCM method to solve this. So we get here 9 over 9 minus 1 over 9 is equal to 648. So this becomes 9 to the power of x and since the denominators are same we can keep the same denominator and we will combine the numerators and write it as 9 minus 1 is equal to 648. So this becomes 9 raised to x times 9 minus 1 is 8 over 9 is equal to 648. Now we'll take this 8 over 9 on the other side. So it reciprocates and it becomes 648 times 9 over 8. So this switches. It flips. So let us see what we'll get here by solving this side. So we have 648 times 9 which is in the numerator divided by 8. So we get 729. So we write 729 and this side it is 9 raised to x. Now this means 9 to the power of what gives us 729. So let us check 9 times 9 gives us 81. Then again if we take times 9 we get 729 that means 9 has to be multiplied 3 times with itself to give us 729 that means 9 to the power of 3 is equal to 729 so that means if we are comparing this term with this term we can see that the powers x will be equal to 3 so we got the value of x. But here in the question they are not asking us the value of x. They are rather asking us the value of x to the power of x. So thing we can do here is 
we can write x to the power of x so we got x as 3 so 3 to the power of 3 so that is nothing but 3 times 3 times 3 which gives us 27 so the answer to this question is 27 which is option C I hope you have understood and liked the video and thanks for watching